this is the first event that is going to be held by the people, for the people, you know. Um, we do have several speakers, you know. We have a, a sister that was on the same task force to speak about the findings. Um, we have, you know, elders. I know several people that will come and speak, you know, in their capacity. But the, the, but the evening is really for the people of Barbados to come out and have a say, you know. Um, and I want to use this press conference to invite the BLP, members of the BLP, members of the DLP, every other political party, especially um, people representing the Barbados Cannabis License Authority. This is a time and a chance for them to truly ground for the people. I don't know if, you know, um, in this time of emancipation, if we know about Walter Rodney from Guyana, you know, and, you know, he had a, a book called Grounding with the people, you know, grounding meaning coming down to the level of the people. You know, normally when we see the government officials, you know, they are above the people and apart from the people. You know, so we have these forums where, you know, you have a panel, of, you know, when it comes to the, the question and answer for the people, that is usually very short. You know, and people being left waiting in line to have a say and this and that and this. You know, I have been there, I've, been, I've done that. You know, you have to rush the mic first, you know, and people rushing you off the mic. This evening, you know, we have from 5 o'clock to 9 o'clock, that time for the people to come and have a say. We will show a couple short um, clips, right? Um, to make a further point of how CARICOM is going on. Recently, I think you all as journalists will know, I think as last month, I stand corrected, but I think it was the 20th of March, a symposium was held, I think it was in St. Vincent. There's something on YouTube that I saw, you know? And at this symposium, the rest of the, the, the CARICOM community, the Caribbean community, are speaking about things like standardizing the allowance of the plant throughout the region. Whether everybody can have two ounces, seven plants, whatever, you know, we're not in that conversation. Further to that, they're talking about inter-Caribbean travel, you know, that somebody from Jamaica should be, have some sort of allowance to bring their herb with them here. And I should be able to take my beige and herb, you know, which I grow illegally. <laughs> or which is grown, not I grow, because I don't grow any herb right now. I have to say that, you know. Um, so, you know, so, you know, so where is Barbers in that conversation in all seriousness? We are nowhere because we can't even carry a seed, you know. So we are less than progressive, you know, and we don't see, we're not hearing of any level, high levels of psychosis coming out of these islands, you know, that have given access to the people. I want to move on to, to you know, so the evening we're calling for one thing is um, that the government take heed to the findings of the, the CARICOM Commission and give Barbados some sort of allowance in the plant. We have been from the inset, from the Joint Select Committee meetings till now, advocating that within the medicinal industry of the plant, that the traditional cultural use be allocated within that industry. You know, it is in our minds immoral and unethical to move straight to pharmaceuticals and leave out the natural use. So there are people that have been drinking teas and making their own little oils and things for years. I rastafari know that. 